Hello and thank you for joining me today. The presentation will be about LD components and modules using TRR optics for highest performance and beam shaping. My name is Christian Jan and I will be your host. I'm application development engineer at the company Light Avenue in Germany. I'm a specialist for customized LD modules and beam shaping optics. Our topics we'll cover today are a short introduction about the company Light Avenue, what we do with CMAX, the third point I want to show you three different types of TRR optics with, with a short summary each. The first one is the high flux TRR LEDs, the second one TRR lens with multi servers. This is a special customized design. And the third one, silicon tier are lenses. I want to show you two different types, one with plus minus five and one with plus minus 10 degrees radiation angle. At least we have a short lessons learned. Light MNU are founded in 2012 and is located near Regensburg in Germany. We have more than 20 years experience in the optoelectronics business. We have in-house development and prototyping. We do optic simulations and offering also further services. Our consulting on highest level during all phases of the customer's projects. Products from small to medium volumes possible in Europe with our partners. We have a wide uh, optoelectronics product portfolio of LED dyes, also white dyes detectors, LED components, laser dyes, TU laser components, customized LEDs and laser solutions. The LED wavelengths range is from 270 to 1700 nanometers. The laser wavelengths range from 400 to 940 nanometers. Now, what we do with Optic Studio? we do optic development. The first step is the concept definition. What are the limitations of the width and highs? What LED dyes we have to be used? What wavelengths should be used? What size should be used? The second step is the integration of the dye radiation. We have in-house beam radiation intensity measurement system. We measure the beam radiation and uh, uh, build it up into CMAX. Third step, simulate the radiation, the dyes and the optics together. And uh, fourth step is the definition of the build and CAD model, build that and CAD model for manufacturers. After the first prototype for functionality tests, we re-simulate the results and optimize the optical radiation for better beam shaping, for better customer's beam shaping. At the first picture, you can see a customized color made from us with a red LED. And this is built up from us with the right shown color lens. It's a spherical lens and the material is here PMMA. <clears throat> the first, first type I want to show you is the high flux TRR LEDs. We call it beam LED. The general information are the LED is produced by a molding pro uh, technology. We used a special thermoplastic molding material called PSU. We have a load thermal resistance regarding the high quality lead frame inside on which the dye is bonded. We have a high efficiency operated by the extreme precise and efficiency optics regarding the PSU material and the molding technology, and a very low stray light regarding the precise strip placement inside the lens. Material shapes regard, uh, here for the PSU material is usable from 540 to 940 nanometers with a high reflection index of 1.6 to 
this lens have a 10 degrees radiation angle, depends on its chip size. If we use a bigger chip or 40 mil, we have a higher uh, radiation angle. If we use a point source, we go down to down lower than 10 degrees radiation angle. This LED <clears throat> have 500 milliwatt per stereo diode at 50 milliamps at CV and pulse current up to one amps depends on the wavelengths. Not all wavelengths, but the most. If we look at the simulation of the 10 degrees radiation angle, you can see on the picture six, the radiation intensity view of the polar detector. And we see the really low stray light here and here and the good beam shapes, a good radiation angle of plus minus 10, uh, not plus minus 10 degrees, plus minus five degrees. On the right side, we have the incoherent radiance detector image. Dimensions are 50 to 50 millimeters with the distance of the LED of 25 millimeters and get the really homogen emission point with low stray light. <coughs> Short summary here. We have a low thermal resistance regarding the high quality lead frame. We have a special thermoplastic molding material, PSU. PSU is usable from 540 to 940 nanometers, green to infrared. We have 10 degrees radiation angles by the special tier all in shape and tolerance plus minus five degrees regarding the chip size. Mass production possible regarding the molding process and a high optical output power at CV and a pulse current up to one amps regarding the embedded dies into the tier all lens without any air gaps between. The second one is the multi-surface design tier R lens. For here, the further details of this design are under NDA. We can share the following ideas only. <clears throat> this lens is designed with the PMMA material, also usable usable from 590 to 1000 nanometers. The reflection index is not as high as PSU, but also works for us. The challenge here was the customized beam characteristics to uh, at the low module dimensions. We have not enough space to go uh, uh, to build a big lens. So we, the space was approximately nine millimeters and six millimeters height. The special here is a design with five different surfaces. The first one is the air splice and the slant wall. And this is the inside here and here on the top side, you can see it better. Here's the air space and the slant wall. The second is the CPC, the compound parabolic concentrator on the outer side. Three and four are two centered spherical surfaces. Here and here. And fifth is uh, a spherical annual surface on the, so on the top of the CPC surface. The customer's beam shape was defined with, for a really high homogen emission point with a diameter of approximately three millimeters. The coupling efficiency is, in, is at 50% here. So this coupling efficiency losses are regarding some material boundaries from the active area of chip to air, from air into the material, and also from the material into air. The land shape was remasters from us for diamond lace manufacturing and for precess assembly on the metal core PCB. You can see it on here on the side, here and here. Short summary to the multi-surface designs, multi-surface tier R lens design gives us the possibility for customized beam shapes. We use PMMA material, and this can be used from 590 to 1000 nanometers. This material was used 
and is idle for the rapid prototyping regarding diamond layers in small quantities. At this lens, we have also the mass production possibility with the molding process. At second, I want, uh, at third, I want to show you the silicon TRR lens. This is a leading edge light engine technology with a high optical efficiency up to 85 to uh, 95% due to the direct chip bonding with the TRR silicon lens. Also the same as for the high flux TRR lens from the beam led. We have here also the same system to bond direct to chip with the lens. So this lens can be easily equipped with a secondary lens for beam shaping, have a very homogeneous emission point, and small radiations angles possible uh, the following dimensions at plus minus 10 degrees. We have a diameter of the lens of eight millimeters to 7.5 millimeter size. Plus minus five degrees is much bigger, is 3.5 times bigger than the 10 degrees is 18 to 26 millimeters. On the right picture, picture 12, you can see on the right side, the plus minus 10 degrees lens, on the left side, the plus minus five degrees lens. The material and beam shapes are here. The silicon material is usable from UV to infrared from 300 to 1000 nanometers. So uh, reflection index is not the highest, but it works really good with this shape of lens. On the left side, you see the plus minus five degree lens. On the right side, the plus minus 10 degree lens. I simulate this lens with all both the same distance of 25 millimeters here and a detector size 50 by 50 millimeters. And you can see we get a really homogeneous emission point on both sides. So to, um, the two graphs look similar. This comes from the output aperture, plus minus five degrees, a significant larger than the plus minus 10 degrees, but the simulation at, this, at the same distance of 25 millimeters. I want to show you um, product on no product placement. I want to show you what we do with this lens. We use here's a plus minus 10 degrees silicon lens and we call this application seven. We, what's special is here, we have seven dies in a really small dimensions, 26 to 32 to 10 millimeters. All dies here, you can see, can use this uh, different, now, all dies can be used in different wavelengths. You need not to use only red, you can red, blue, and green if you want, and white, and infrared, and UV in one module. We have a very homogeneous emission point also here for the seven dyes, and different housing options like waterproofed and area layout also possible. You can choose three lenses and a triangle or a longer array with 12 tier R lens in one side. Short summary here. The silicon tier R lens use able from small radiation angle and big range of wavelengths for use able from 300 to 1000 nanometers UV to infrared. Secondary lens application is possible. High optical efficiency about 85 to 95 percent due to the direct chip bonding with the silicon tier R lens. And we have also the possibility for uh, mass productions regarding a molding process. What we learned here, TRR lenses can be made from different materials. We shown you here PMMA, PSU, silicon, but as we, uh, this lens can be used as pierced silica, E48R material or 
anything else. This depends on the optical power, the heat it has to withstand, and which wavelength is used. TRR lens is also usable for a really small size dies, lower than 10 mil up to 40 mil dies. Diamond lace lenses are perfect for rapid prototyping with small quantities. Direct contacted TRR lenses have the highest optical efficiency. Multi surface design TRR lenses are the best solution for special beam shaping and small radiation angles with low heights are possible here, as you can see with the silicon plus minus 10 degrees lens. Our motivation to design TRR lens is to develop products of the market standard based on our experience in optoelectronics and together with our customers. Our observation is that more and more customers ask for special solutions. This demand will increase due to new applications. Thank you for your attention. For further details, look at our website. And for questions, do not hesitate to contact me directly. Thank you very much and have a nice day.